Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to customize a Google Maps route and then add that route into your GPS device. This is pretty easy to do, especially if you have a Garmin GPS or one of the other brands of standalone GPS devices. Now before you start, you may be wondering, well why don't you just import this into Google Maps on your phone? Well, you can import it, but Google won't follow the route that you import. It'll take the shortest route, and you won't see the custom places you want to go. So let's get started. This is Google Maps, and to get there, you just go to maps.google.com, and let's enter an address. Let's say I want to camp at Manatee Springs State Park. Now, I want to know how to get there, so I'm going to click Directions, and I'm going to put my starting point, which is Venice, Florida. And it shows me two directions, one on the interstate and one is on a back road. Now, I prefer not to drive on the interstates my motorhome, so I'm going to go to Options, and tell it to avoid highways. I could also tell it to avoid tolls, ferries, and I could have the units put in miles or kilometers. So there's the route so far. But after I go to Manatee Springs State Park, I think I want to go to another state park and spend the night there. And to do that, I click close here. I see this plus sign, I click plus, and enter the next destination. I think I'm gonna stay St. Joseph State Park. This is a really nice park in Florida. It's out on the peninsula. It's out there by itself on the beach. Really nice park. And see, it's added it to my route. And again, it's sticking with my route preferences and staying on the back roads. Now, after that, I might want to go to Gulf Shores Pier. There's a fishing pier. And there it puts it there. That's right on the other side of Pensacola. It's a really nice place. Now, let's say I get tired of spending nights on beaches and I want to go to a crystal mine. Well, I, again, I hit Add Destination and type in the crystal mine. And it asked me, did I really want to find this place right here? So I'm going to click yes. That's really what I was looking for. And it added it. So there's a route right there. It looks pretty nice. But I've done this trip many times before. And I know that what I prefer to do is right here after Jackson, Mississippi, I want to come over and miss this route that goes up through Yazoo City and actually come over to Tallulah and go up that way. To do that, I just put my finger on the route and drag it over like this. It knows that's the route that I want to take. Now the problem is, if you look over here on Google Maps, there's really no way to save the map. The only way you can do it is to save the URL. And under Options, the only options you have are Avoid and Distance Units. We'll close there. And under Menu, the only options you have are Satellite, which shows a satellite view of your direction, traffic, terrain, location sharing, which means you can share where you are with other people. You're probably not going to want to do that. Your places, Contributions, Share or Embed Map. Again, there's no Save. And there's no way to send this to your GPS. So we'll go back and look at our regular map. Now this is a lot of driving. And if I had to enter all these different routes into my GPS, there'd be a lot of points to enter. Fortunately, there's an easier way. What you can do is you can copy the URL and open a program called GPS Visualizer. And what it does, it converts any GPS file to plain text or GPX. Now GPX is a file format that works standalone GPXs. And once you have a GPS route in that format, you can just import it into that GPS device and it'll follow it. So to do the conversion, we just come down here and enter the URL. You want to be sure and select GPX and then click Convert. And when the conversion is done, you'll see a link here that says click to download. We'll click that link and it downloads that GPX file to your computer. Now, once that GPX file is on your computer, you can run a USB cable from your computer to your GPS device look in the GPX folder of your device and move that file over. Or if you've got a Garmin GPS, there's another way to do that, and that's to start a program called Garmin Basecamp. And with Basecamp, you click File and Import into My Collection, and go look for that file that you just downloaded, which is that one right there. We'll click Open. It's importing the data. And if I click on that data link, it now shows me that route. And you can see here's that route that we had a moment ago going up into Arkansas to the crystal mines and the different campgrounds we have. There's a flag on each one of them. Once I have that, what I can now do is click device and send to the device. It'll send it to any Garmin GPS that's connected. The point of all this is since Google doesn't make it easy to export the routes from Google Maps, you can save the URL, you can take it to GPS Visualizer, and you can convert it into a GPX file. Once you have it on GPX file, you can import it in most GPS devices and in some GPS apps. Anyway, thought you might be interested in knowing about this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.